Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's jump into this mountain weather update. First off, Jackson Hole, finally seeing some colder air. Bring that snow level down to the valley for just getting started here. I expect the snow to pick up as the day wears on. Probably six, seven, eight inches of accumulation at Jackson Hole and also Grand Targhee. And this is just the leading edge of this front. It's plunging south towards Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico today through the 25th. You can see the timing. The arrival on Utah and Colorado is very late today. Afternoon, evening hours, uh, continuing into 1124 and early 1125 in Utah, extending into 1125 in Colorado. Then I think we're going to see a pattern shift 1126 through 1130 with high pressure ridging across the west. I don't have much of anything during that period. Then maybe some more activity comes in as the jet resets after about 121 or 122. Let me take you back show you what the uh, the infrared satellite looks like right now. I drew the features on. You can see the Canadian front diving south through Montana, headed into Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico over time. Big area of low pressure hitting the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to stay to the north uh, for right now. So here's the timing on all of this. Forecast radar and satellite. That's at 515 this afternoon. And there's the view tomorrow morning. So we wake up on the 24th. Snow is uh, it's happening in the, the Wasatch and all mountain zones of Colorado. And it's happening all the way down into Denver tomorrow with probably 2 to 4 inches of accumulation. It's all snow. It's cold enough. There's tomorrow at 4. And then by the time we get into the morning of the 25th, tapering off in the Wasatch, the lows still spinning in Colorado, especially over the eastern plains. Southern Colorado is going to get nailed around Wolf Creek. The San Juans will do very well. Uh, as this low spins out in Tahos. And Angel Fire will do okay. And there we are by the afternoon on 25th. Lows beginning to pull away. And that's going to be it for a while. 1126 through 1130, the clock's going to run here. All the activities up in the, uh, in the area of BC. And that's it. And up in the northeast, I should say as well, there's another low headed up there, 1126, 1127, which could have an impact, which could deliver snow to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. But 1128 is quiet. All right, let me take you back, show you the jet stream here. So tomorrow, 1124, doors wide open, colder air is plunging south into Colorado, New Mexico. The front is basically paralleling that jet activity, that energy through southern Colorado and uh, New Mexico. So we're really getting quite a bit of orographic precip there over the San Juans and over Wolf Creek especially. Take you down the road. So this is 12-2, completely different setup after the ridge breaks down. Dip in the jet, things starting to get energized. Um, so at some point that first week of uh, December, things might might start to uh, amplify, get going. We might get some precip there through California, some snow through uh, Colorado and um, also Utah, New Mexico. We'll see. It's way out there at this point. Here are my numbers. So today through the 25th, this captures the evolution of this Canadian cold front. Six, seven, eight inches across the Tetons, quite a bit more through Hoggett in there. You can see some of the purple and the magentas um, across the uh, the Wasatch. Overall, these numbers are down about 10 to 15 percent. But the ratios remain high. We're going to squeeze out every little bit of snow out of this um, with cold air coming in. Um, in Colorado, 4 to 12 western slope, about 8, 9, 10 in snow mass, crested butte. Uh, the San Juans do really well. You can see the numbers are in the double digits, especially over Wolf Creek and Purgatory and Silverton. Some pretty big numbers down there. And 6 to 8 through parts of Angel Fire and Taos and Ski Santa Fe. Final period here. This is 1126 through 122. A lot of this would be 121122 that you see happening in Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah uh, as that jet starts to re-energize itself and it has a little better orientation for the West. But most of that period, 1126 through 1130, there's nothing. It's bone dry. All right, guys, have a great Thanksgiving today, and I'll talk with you later.